cuties, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Stephanie, and welcome to this YouTube channel of beauty that I have going on here. So in today's video, it is a drugstore makeup look for the summer. So if you guys are interested in uh, seeing how I created the look on what the front photo of the video was, um, I welcome you to just keep watching. Okay, great. So before anything, um, I did moisturize. I used a moisturizer that is not drugstore. This is like my everywhere, my everyday skincare. So um, I'm not going to include it in the video. But you proceed with your moisturizer um, before you start your makeup to hydrate your skin. So the thing that I'm going to do next is primer. I'm going in with the NYX Drop Primer. This is drugstore. So, and it's actually one of my favorites. Okay, so next I'm going to kind of set my eyelids. I'm going in with the Milani. Um, this is a, the Conceal and Perfect kind of shine proof powder. So I'm, th I'm in beige number six, if you guys can see that. So I'm just going to go with an eyeshadow brush and just kind of pat my whole eyelid so I'm like literally prepping and preparing this lid. Alright, so I'm going in with the, the new Classics palette, the e.l.f. palette. This is... Um, actually one of my favorite drugstore palettes ever because it is just so usable for every day and I haven't used it in a while so today I'm just going to use it. I'm going to go in with Truffle which is this color right here and I'm going to go in with my blending brush E40 by Sigma and just take this to the crease and kind of just use this as like a transition color just so I can like kind of place the eyeshadows where I'm going to place them. I usually start doing my transition color because this is like the Bates color where it's like that behind color where you see that transition form. So. I real I usually go with like taupey colors or like brown tone colors, and I'm just circulating um, the product into that crease. So I'm just gonna go in with um, a concealer that I usually wear and start creating like my lid what I'm doing here is just literally kind of brightening that area because I'm gonna go back and set it with some powder but because I'm gonna work with kind of light colors I want it to kind of help with a base lightening so this is why I usually cut the crease and it also gives it a neater look okay so I'm gonna go back in with that Milani powder and just set that these two so it's a uh, beloved and glided they're just calling out to me I haven't played with these colors in this palette so I really wanted to try so these look like shimmer products so I'm actually going to spray the brush so I can get the maximized shimmer. I'm going in with the Milani Make It Last kind of setting spray and just wet that brush once and going in with Beloved first to see what this color is all about. 
Okay, so yeah, that's a pretty cute little pink color. I really like it actually. I think I'm going to wet the brush even more to get, like, maximize that shimmer. I find with these shimmer products, if you wet the brush and you add some setting spray, you can get more control and more pigment. What I like about this palette is that the shimmer products are not too extreme. They're really subtle, but if you want to bring out more of that shimmer, yeah, setting spray will definitely help it. But um, without that, the shimmers are really subtle. So if you're into like nice subtle shimmers, this palette is great for you. Um, sometimes I have those moods, those days, you know, where you don't want your lids to be really shivery, but you like that subtleness. I would just do it without setting it with spray and um, do it on its own. But I want to maximize it today, so I'm just going to spray the brush. I did kind of like clean um, off the other product that I placed on it because I'm going to go in with Glided now. This is like a lime cream shimmer product and I feel like it's going to be more intense oh yeah really intense that's pretty cute oh my gosh I want to take my ring finger kind of blend out that like middle kind of area because it's kind of harsh so I'm going to take my finger and kind of diffuse them all together I'm going to go back in with uh, I'm going to go back in with truffle with that blending brush and kind of just diffuse again that creates one this all together and I'm going to take cream it. This is like a matte cream color. And I'm going to take this to the brow bone. Just so we can highlight that brow bone. I feel like I'm missing something like if I have to put something in the inner corner. So I'm going to take a pencil brush and wet the product. I am wet the brush. And Glamour right here looks like a nice shimmery color, great for the inner corner. So I feel like I'm gonna put this into that inner corner, yes. I'm actually gonna take an angled brush and I'm gonna go in with Earth. This looks like such a nice earthy color, just like it says. And I'm going to take this to, like, that lash line. Just really tight line that lash line. So, like, when I do put falsies, because I'm going to put false lashes, it just looks, like, thicker. So I'm just going to tight line that area. And this eye is complete. I'm gonna do this eye off camera, add some lashes, and then we're gonna do the foundation and um, the rest of the makeup. So don't leave, I'll be right back. All right, so next up is just applying foundation. I am going in with the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. This is the matte poreless foundation. It's mattifying, it's natural, and seamless. Um, I've tried it before, so like I used it um, more times other than this video, and I absolutely love it. I feel like it is such a nice um, 
lightweight foundation and it gives you that really nice complexion to your skin so that's why I was like leaning towards it because like I saw like really good reviews and um, it's also a drugstore and I just feel like it really I don't know it just really brings out like a natural beauty of your skin it doesn't look like it's so heavy and it really is beautiful so um the so my shade is 310 sun beige and i find that um you know when i was like shade matching it was like really not difficult like sometimes i have a difficult time with shade matching when it comes to foundation but for some reason um maybelline and milani also uh wet and wild their shade ranges are really nice to work with and they're really like how do i say it? their shade range is um impressive because i didn't feel like i had a hard time so I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind now and just conceal these under eyes. What I'm going to do is just set that concealer with the Milani um, powder by just so that concealer doesn't go anywhere. Just take some of that truffle color right under that lash line. So I'm just going to take some mascara underneath that lash line. I'm also going to take some Rebel Scandal. I'm going in with the Wet n Wild contour stick, and I feel like this would be a nice um, way to contour the face today. Okay, so now I'm just going to set that uh, contour concealer with the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. This is Sunkissed. Literally, my favorite. My favorite. So I'm literally just going over wherever I place that contour. So I'm just going to take some of that powder and just like set that nose area too. I'm going in with the Milani Curl Cove. And add some blush because blush will look nice with this overall summery look. But I also feel like highlight would also look good. So I'm going to go in with the Milani uh, Trio Highlight. This is, um, so there's three highlights that come into this trio. Honestly, I'm not, I'm debating if I should put this like color, right, um, what is this one? Pearl, just above the lip. So then when I put lipstick, it looks like my lip is more protruded outwards. Like, it looks like I have like a, what, a milk mustache right now, but it'll all be put together. Um, so I like this uh, golden quartz, especially for the high points. So I'm going to put that there and kind of just blend it out with my finger. I really love this highlight because it is so pigmented. Honestly, I feel like it works well with fingers because it warms up the product and it really gives it that highlight like wow actually let's put like a little bit more here and I'm also going to put it on my nose like right at the tip and the bridge I feel like it would look really nice for the brows too 
maybe pearl. I'm gonna take a little bit of pearl with like an angled brush. Okay, yeah. Ooh, I love that. Okay. I'm kind of just blend that out with my finger. And you know what? To intensify the inner corner, I feel like rose gold would look really nice for some reason. So I'm just going to add some rose gold to that inner corner. I'm going to take some of the Milani uh, Adorable number 10 onto the finger and just just put a little bit onto the lip. I don't want it to be too extensive. I just want it to be just minimal and natural because I feel like going in with a plumping gloss will look good with this look. So this is by Hard Candy and it's just a lip serum plumping voluminizing lip gloss. The last step is to just lock in everything together and I'm going in with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. This is a three-in-one prime and it corrects and sets. It's lightweight, it also locks in makeup up to 16 hours it says, and it keeps color from fading into setting into the creases. It also, um, what else does it do? And prime, correct and set. So it's just a setting spray, it's not mattifying whatsoever, so it just like enhances. So I'm just going to spray this all over and just let that dry. Okay beauty, so this is the final look. Um, I forgot to mention what lashes I use. Um, I use the Kiss Lashes. Where are they? Ah, okay, so I got rid of the packaging. But they're like the Kiss Lashes number 11. You can find this at your drugstore um, and like Walmart, for example. And then also, um, I forgot to mention the brows um, because I did it off camera because honestly, when I do brows, I do it and it takes long. So um, I did go in with uh, the Anastasia Dip Brow. And then after I set it with some powder, uh, I'm just going to show you. This is the Sigma Brow Setting Powder, um, just so it locks in. I've been doing that late. <coughs> Sorry. I've been doing that lately because, like I said, when cream products for uh, summertime, you also want to set it with some uh, powder. I'm losing my train of thought. <laughs> but, but yeah. So, um, like I said before, when you use a cream product, you want to set it with some uh, powder product so it locks in and stays uh, everything in place. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to give this video a like and thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, I welcome you to subscribe because I would love you to join this beauty community that I have going on here. Make sure that you hit that subscription button and that notification button so you can be alerted for videos that I post on a weekly. And ultimately, beauties, thank you so much for all the support, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.